Spring is here and that always brings up the topic of cleaning routines. Here's the thing, people will say, hey Melissa, what spring cleaning routine should I do? Or what should my weekly cleaning routine be? It, it always kind of brings up this thought of routines whenever the seasons start to change. The daily cleaning routine is the one that I get asked probably the most about. People will say, hey Melissa, what's your daily cleaning routine? And can you help me come up with one? Now here's the thing, I can give you a checklist for spring cleaning, weekly cleaning, monthly cleaning, but daily cleaning, that's personal. Daily cleaning isn't so much a routine as it is a series of habits. And it's not so much prescriptive, like one thing is gonna work for everyone. It's actually quite personal. It really depends on a number of factors that are very specific to you. So in this video, that's exactly what we're gonna figure out. And by the end of this video, you'll know all of those things that you need to figure out and you'll have your daily cleaning routine figured out. It'll be efficient, effective, and quick, and it will be just yours. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, give this video a thumbs up for spring, and in honor of spring, we have just launched our very first ebook. It's got 50 DIY cleaning recipes. You can go to cleanmyspace.com shop to pick it up, and obviously, there's a link for you down below as well. The first thing we have to establish when we're setting up a daily cleaning routine or this series of daily habits is your home's baseline or where you want your house to be every day on average, okay? Now this isn't someone else's opinion of what your house should look like or what you were taught as a child or what some external influence is telling you they think your house should look like on a daily basis. This is what feels right in your heart. This is what makes sense for you and your family and what feels good and tolerable and manageable. And it's not so much a bunch of tick marks as it is just you envisioning what you like your house to look like on an average day. That's your baseline. MIAs is a term that we've been talking about for years here at Clean My Space. It stands for most important areas. And these are the areas that I want you focusing your cleaning efforts on. If an area gets your blood boiling, if it's a mess, that's an MIA. Maybe it's your office because you're in there all the time. Maybe it's your bathroom, your kitchen, or your front entryway. If it's messy and stresses you out like big time, you can viscerally experience the stress in your body, that's an MIA. But like if there's an area like your dining room and it's a little messy and you can see past it, don't sweat it. You don't need to worry about that on a daily basis. So when you're thinking about setting up your cleaning routines, think about what your MIAs are. That is where I want you spending your time on a daily basis. There are two camps in the cleaning space, really. There's cleaning, which is like scrubbing, polishing, disinfecting, and then there's tidying. And people use the terms interchangeably, but they are different. And some of us prefer cleaning and some of us prefer tidying. Now the thing is to know about yourself is whether you're better at one or the other or you tend to spend your time doing one instead of doing the other. Now for me, I know I would rather actually clean something than waste my time tidying something. But actually Chad is better at tidying than he is cleaning. So we balance each other out nicely and that is part of what helps to keep our house in check on a day-to-day -day basis. This is good to know about your household and the individuals there or yourself if you're the only one who lives there. What are you better at? What do you prefer to spend your time doing? Because if you're already spending a lot of time doing that, it would tell me that you have to start thinking about spending your time doing the other thing so that you can achieve that balance and get both the cleaning and the tidying done on a regular basis. Another thing that we can consider when we're planning our daily cleaning routine is our lifestyle and lifestyle factors. Kids, pets, and partners, are they helping with the mess or are they creating more of a mess? Kids, pets, there are certain things we have to accept in our home and that will affect what your benchmark or your baseline is. Then when it comes to you and your family, how much time are you spending a day at school, at work? How much extra time do you realistically have to dedicate to cleaning? And is it realistic for you to expect your home to be at a certain space or a certain level in terms of cleanliness? 
or are there just things that we have to accept temporarily, but right now. And that is really gonna help you fine tune your baseline or your benchmark. And it will also help you understand where potentially you need to ask for help or where you might need to outsource some assistance. So establishing a daily cleaning routine, as you can clearly see, is not something that I can just give you a checklist for because what you're doing now is you're figuring out what is my personal baseline? Where do I need to be each day? What are my lifestyle factors, my strengths, my weaknesses, my MIAs, and so on that can either help me or hurt me in terms of getting that to that baseline so that we can compensate accordingly. And now we'll talk about what the daily habits are that you can implement to get you to baseline. There are four very simple habits that you can implement on a daily basis to help you get to that baseline, whatever it is. The first one is one we've been talking about for years and years here at Clean My Space because it just works and it's probably never going to change. And that is putting things back where they belong or in Clean My Space terms, having your hands full. And what this looks like is, anytime you leave a room and you know what direction you're going in, so my kitchen is that way, if I'm getting up and I'm going that way, I'm taking this stuff in my hands to the kitchen. That way the flow of mess and clutter throughout the house is constantly moving and is constantly in motion. This isn't going to clutter up or build up because this takes me a couple of extra seconds to stay on top of. Whereas if I didn't do that, the mess, the clutter would start to build up and it would get me further and further away from my baseline. One daily habit that perhaps you might resent, I know I do a little bit, is having to do the dishes every single time you eat a meal and mess up your kitchen. If you can stay on top of the dishes, your kitchen will never feel overwhelming in terms of its mess. This is something that does take extra time. You know, for me, in my dream world, I would just make a meal, sit down and leave not worrying about any of the trails I left behind, messes, prep, whatever. But that's not reality. When I finish eating, there's a cleanup job to be done so that the kitchen can be brought back to baseline. So whenever you're done a meal, make sure that your dishes are done, the garbage is emptied, and the sink is clean. Here's a simple habit, but one that makes a huge difference on a daily basis. And that is to deal with your clothing or your laundry every single time you change. So whether you're getting into your pajamas or you're getting out of your pajamas or you're getting ready for the day, although some days it feels like that's all the same outfit, it's just a matter of not throwing that stuff on the floor or leaving it on the chair. It's a matter, okay, don't look at my chair. Please don't look at that chair. But it really is just a matter, hi, of putting everything back right where it belongs, whether it's in the hamper or refolding it or hanging it back up. That way it prevents that buildup of laundry on the floor. Listen, I will be perfectly honest with you. It is still something that I struggle with to this day, but right now my floor beside my side of the bed is nice and clean and it feels good. A really important daily habit to use to keep your home clean is to clean as you go. And what this looks like is anytime you make a mess, you immediately clean it up before you leave that space. That way there's no accumulation of messes on a regular basis. That doesn't just mean putting your dishes in the dishwasher, but it also means sort of wiping surfaces down. Here we are in the bathroom. I mean, you know, there's water splashes on the counter, toothpaste in the sink, splatters on the mirror. We're even potty training right now. So all of those little things add up. And by spending a minute here or there, just doing the quick touch-ups and cleaning as we go along, prevents the house from getting really, really messy or dirty over a period of time. While I can't give you a specific checklist of what you need to do with your daily cleaning routine, I can give you a few hallmarks of a generally clean home, things that you can check on a daily basis to see if they're done, because these really will help you get to your benchmark. And the first one is to check your kitchen sink and to see if it's empty, and if you want bonus points, to see if it's shiny and clean. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You can use a powdered cleanser, a sponge. It takes 30 seconds to rinse and clean your sink and buff it dry. But having that clean sparkling sink makes the whole kitchen feel clean. So there's your first hallmark. 
High traffic areas are so easy to clutter and mess up every day. For me, a high traffic area that drives me bananas is the front entryway. If this is cluttered up and messy, I go nuts. So what I do when I come in, I make sure that my stuff is put away, my boots, my jackets, my purse, anything that I bring in has to be put away when I get here. If there's something that's scattered or out of place, that's something that on a daily basis gets pruned and managed so that it doesn't build up. So think about those high traffic areas in your home and what you can stay on top of on a daily basis. Another hallmark you can check each and every day, the floors to make sure that there is no laundry left behind. I will tell you that while I'm not perfect at this myself, it is a habit I am rigidly implementing with Riley because I want her to be so good at taking her stuff off and putting it right into the hamper. I don't like to see laundry on her floor because I don't want to pass that bad habit down to her. So if I'm checking to make sure that my room is clean, her room is clean, one of the hallmarks is making sure that there's no laundry lingering around. If you think about the room that you spent the most time in on any particular day, a hallmark for you can be to check that room at the end of the day and see what kind of mess is still there and clean that up. Because truthfully, the hallmark of a clean home is a clean space in the area that was heavily used. So for us on shoot days, we're always hanging out in the dining room. It tends to clutter up with paper, mail, books, and all that stuff. So at the end of the day, we have to make sure that this room is sorted out so that our dining room doesn't look like a boardroom table. My hope is now that you understand why I couldn't give you a very prescriptive daily cleaning routine because each and every person has their own unique sets of needs and circumstances that makes their daily cleaning needs entirely different from the next person's. But when it comes to other cleaning routines, for example, weekly cleaning routines, I can be more prescriptive or checklist oriented. And in fact, the weekly cleaning routine is the next routine we're gonna tackle. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Now in the comments down below, I would love to know what is the one thing, the one area or the one task that you make sure is done each and every day in your home. Let me know in the comments down below for me, it's laundry. I don't know why, but I just find it fairly easy. And also Riley stuff gets dirty every day at daycare. So I am on top of the laundry scene in this house, but let me know what yours is down below. A great video to check out is our three wave system video. If you haven't learned about the three wave system already, it is like the most amazing way to approach a room and get it clean perfectly each and every time. So make sure you check that out. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.